All right, so uh, we're going to see a demo of the FireNote version of our notebook uh, demo. And this is the version that uh, stores uh, everything on the cloud database. And it's going to look a lot like the notebook app. And so uh, this will be a relatively quick demo. But there are some uh, dynamics that you can even start to notice uh, from the app that actually um, are a tell for what's going on uh, in terms of the implementation. So let's take a look here. We've got our, our app, and uh, I'm not going to sort of bother showing you the uh, code that I am launching the emulator. Oh, and perfect. Thank you. Oop. Thank you, emulator, for really giving us the full demo experience. Okay. So we're going to log in. And that should be OK. I, I want the full demo experience, unless that means that uh, something doesn't work, in which case I don't want the full demo experience. So um, one of the nice things about Firebase and Firebase authentication is that it caches, yeah, ooh, it caches the authentication for you for a reasonable amount of time. And so you don't have to worry about um, having your, your users log in. But um, I can't remember exactly what happened. I think I updated uh, Android Studio, and so it wanted me to log back in. Oh, OK, and I have no, I have no uh, notes up here. So that's, I thought, okay, well, that, that's okay. Um, uh, okay, I should come up with some better, uh, better quotes. Yeah, let's use some Shakespeare. Okay, so, um, and, you know, love, love this dog. Uh, let's take a, let's take a Bunch of pictures of dog, and you you already saw how that showed up, and you should be thinking that that looks very live data e to me, um, and of course you would be correct. Um, yeah, see, like, oh wait, uh, sort of thinking about it, filling it in. There's there's the dog, there's the tail. So get some pictures of our dog. Oh, that looks good. Let's save that. Um, no notes found. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I did think that there were. I think that there were notes. Okay. Um, so I think I showed up here at the bottom. I'm not 100% sure what's going on there, although it does have the right timestamp. So maybe I'm not uh, filtering. Maybe I'm not. Um, um, sorting uh, the, the right, the right timestamp. Anyway, this uh, you know this looks a lot like our notebook app, but you can see the images sort of filtering in slowly, uh, much more slowly than uh, we saw for the notebook app, and, and that's not surprising. All this stuff is stored over the network. It's actually doing network uh, communication in order to uh, find all this stuff. And here we have our uh, list of of images, and here uh, you you definitely you know the last thing I took a picture of was the um, was the dog, and the dog doesn't show up. So in the uh, in the sorry in the notebook case, all of our images were files, and those were named with timestamps. And so it was possible in the image role view to get a most recent first just by uh, sorting on the um, file name. Uh, unfortunately, that's not true for the fire note case because the names are randomly generated. So we can sort by the name, but the, that sort order is going to be random. And that's what we see here. These are just uh, random. If we wanted to provide uh, sort of the timestamp, we would have to come up with some other way of, of doing things. We could, you know, the, there are various things you could do. You could try to encode the time information in the image name itself to sort of make it all self-contained, or you could have another indexing structure in the database that has the timestamp information and is pointing to these files. 
is more complicated than we wanted to get into. And in fact, it's just sort of interesting to me to say, let's take the same app and try to implement the same functionality and sort of what's, what's hard and what's easy, you know? And that sort of just gives you a sense of like um, what's hard and what's easy to accomplish in these systems. Okay. Um, and, you know, everything else is, is the same. I mean, you know, we have new note, um, we have edit note, uh, that all works. We have uh, image roll, image roll up here. Um, I don't think there's anything else uh, we, need to, we need to say. We, we can long click and get rid of things, save, and now that, that is uh, no longer working. We have sort of expand and contract and that state is uh, remembered for us when we, when we come back. So the, um, the sort of functional specification and most of the layout for Fire Node is identical to Notebook, but you can see that some of the dynamics are different and that's explained by the fact that everything is stored on the, uh, on the cloud. And so as, as we go through the code, you'll see the way we uh, refresh our uh, images and some of the dynamics uh, in terms of creating notes and updating uh, image lists is a little bit different. And so we'll uh, get into all those details next.